Hi there, I'm Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the Vol Report. Reminder, this is for education purpose only. This should not be considered investment advice. Options have risk. Consult your financial professional. Well, funky day here again. We've got the S&P up again and VIX up again. Why? Because it keeps moving. The S&P is moving, and there are a lot of people being squeezed for being short vol. All right, now what do I mean by that? Well, it, it'll come off eventually, but I, I want to point you toward kind of just let's look at just the at the money strike right now in the SPX. And I want to pay attention to some open interest here. Look at these 28 and a half. 5,000 SPX, 5,000. These are all dailies. So this is 5,000 expiring today, 5,000 expiring Friday. 13,000 expiring at the end of the month, 12,000 expiring on uh, February 2nd, and another 8,000 on the 9th, and check out Standard Feb, another 15,000. So why am I pointing out the open interest in all these calls? Well, what do you think created that open interest on those calls, if you had to guess? Think there were a lot of people just buying calls? No. It is all short cover, short sellers. So it was all I run a covered call strategy. I run a long the market covered call strategy. That's a great, great, great approach to trading long term. I am a firm believer in that approach. However, when we see uh, these get kind of run into before, you know, expiration or, or really quickly for that matter. What do you see? You'll see a lot of volume. So this volume that you're seeing right here is traders covering. So you're going to see a lot of these 28 and a half uh, as the, the S&P runs. There's people covering that stuff. That's going to jack up volatility. In addition, I'm now going to pull up. Uh, a lot more. I'm going to go to all and I want to pull up regular February. I want to pull up a skew chart. And I want everybody to let me switch it for six months. Unfortunately, there's now so many contracts. I still have a ton of stuff to unclick. And I just want to look at Feb here. So so will be gone in a second, but I, I want to point out the the what the skew actually looks like. There we go. There's the skew. Let me find one that does not have that screw. So here's skew, and I want you to look at what is going on up in here. You know, it is falling, and then it starts to get bid, and there's some value up in here. These are not inexpensive options, and they start to get more expensive. Right around 5 or $6 an option, there's, the vol starts to go up. That's uh, not normal. At, you know, normally you see that with, like, the quarters, not the $5 options. So there is, like, an upside bid on SPX. That is another reason that you're seeing SPX act the way it's acting. So that in turn is running vol futures because you can see VIX to 11 and a half. That we're in the we're watching a big vol short squeeze. And that is going to run the VIX futures higher, that's going to run VIX higher and you know, that is going to push everything up. The question is how long can it last? The answer is it can last another couple of days. Um, now, at some point this stuff will collapse um, because, frankly, a moving up 10, 12 bucks a day, moving up 10 bucks a day on a 2,500 SPX or even 15 bucks a day on a 2,500 SPX is still an 8 VIX or a 9 VIX. So um, 
you know, eventually that stuff will come off. But, you know, it's interesting to see that we're rallying, VIX is rallying, and VVIX is rallying. So one of two things, the squeeze comes off, entirely plausible, or another scenario is that the market is climbing and VIX is climbing because we're about to have some sort of major sell-off. All right. And if that happens, then we could see a serious VIX pop. All right. Either way, uh, it's really pretty funky what we're seeing right now. And it's a function of, I think, the, the one-way direction of the market, uh, the the way everybody seems to feel like covered call writing is the right thing. Covered call writing is a, uh, you know, the smartest thing on the planet. And, uh, you know, that that's kind of it. So, um, you know, I think that that is, is kind of what we're seeing. On top of that, you look around. Well, it, again, it's Amazon is an unstoppable force. Apple looks soft today. Facebook soft, but, uh, you know, s and is just being pulled higher. You got some strength at IBM, out of Microsoft, which has earnings next week. You got a lot of earnings coming up. Microsoft next week, Intel tomorrow. So we also have uh, earnings coming up, which is another reason that Vol could, could let off some steam on the back of earnings. Um, and then finally, take a look at bonds. They, they've been really soft. How long can, can bonds move like this before markets start to notice? They, this is quite the bond correction we've had since the middle of December. TLT, in, a, in about a month, it's gone from 127 to 122. And you add an extra week, it's gone from 128 and a half to 120 to and a half. So that's a nice move in the bonds. So there are definitely some things in play, people, uh, and it's moving things. But I do expect that um, you know this VIX over this VIX where we're seeing will come off as soon as the kind of short squeezers, as soon as the the uh, the market rally short squeeze um, kind of pulls up. That's that's kind of where I, I think things land. All right, folks, if you have questions, you can email me, marketoptionpit.com, or you can call me, 888-TRADE-01. Have a good one.